Hey, Damien Ross from the Self Defense Company, and today we're going to talk about how to really hit a guy in the nuts. Now, a lot of what you see out there is mostly they're hitting at the nuts, but to illustrate the effectiveness and what you really need to do to attack these guys, I have my speed bag. And I like to call this section your testicles and you. So if you think about it, your testicles or testicles, how many times can I say that, are like a speed bag. So when you hit them, they're kind of designed to move out of the way, shuck and jive, and kind of you know, get, you know, just a sidestep whatever's coming at them. I mean, when we competed in judo, we, you know, traditionally you didn't wear underwear specifically for this reason. Because when you did get hit, and you did, you wanted things to be able to move. You didn't want them compact. Because that's when it causes the damage. So when we're attacking the testicles, you need to either smash them straight up, or seize them, squeeze them, and pull them down. So these are the two primary factors in how you're gonna cause damage. Now I know every time we do a hit the nuts thing, there's always someone, uh, Iron Balls McGinty, talking about how he can withstand getting the hits in the nuts, uh, hitting the nuts. Please, I don't wanna hear about it. Uh, too, too much information, all right? So for the rest of normal people out here, when you're getting it, when you're, when you're attacking this area of the male anatomy, you need to either smash them up or pull them down. And now we're gonna go to the training dummy and I'm show you exactly how to practice this. Okay, here we are with our ugly red training dummy. Again, and anything is really, you wanna recreate this surface when you're training. Any technique has gotta come directly straight up into the testicles. You'll see a lot of people kicking at them. This is kicking the bladder. This is kicking the pelvic bone. This is kicking the, this is not doing the damage that you want it to do. What you want to do is drive straight up. And in order to do that, whether it's a what we call a saddle kick, is when you're kicking with the saddle part of your shoe, driving it straight up. Or the knee, and the knee has got to come in, drive straight up, and I put my foot down behind my target. Remember that imaginary line that intersects perpendicular uh, in between them. We want to step past that point. We want to make sure that we're driving up and through. And I like, I weight this down. I like having things down. I like working in a messy environment because this is life. It's not clean. I don't want my, I want my foot to come down and feel something uneven, okay? I wanna feel this. This is important to me. This is important to your training. You train where you live. The world we live in is not clean. Especially some not cleaner than others. Anyway, so practicing, drive the, with the, driving the knee, straight up and bring that foot down past him using the saddle kick same thing foot past him hand strikes edge of hand perfectly fitting up in the way you can do a web of hand blow too driving it straight up again you're gonna have exposure with your thumb so you're gonna have to practice it train it it may not feel great to you but remember when you're training just straight up Smash them up, sorry, smash them up, pull them off. This is how to really hit a guy in the nuts. <laughs> so, oh, I'm not gonna do it. So screw you guys, if you think I'm gonna hit my buddy Bill in the nuts. So, I might, it's not like I haven't. I'm gonna raise. <laughs> it's doubled. So, like we said before, you're hitting straight up into the fork. We're driving that knee in and moving past him, okay? When we're striking, either with the edge of hand straight up, we gotta we got smash those nuts. Uh, how did I do that? Yeah, smash those nuts against the pelvic bone. Okay, so there's really either smashing them or pulling them. What happens is you're actually gonna put them into shock because it's, these, are, these things tend to be really sensitive. And again, I know there's probably some freak there posting. You know, fine, if you wanna come by, we'll come by, we'll kick you in the nuts, we'll have a good time. All right, no, no, don't come near me. So anyway, when you're grabbing, or like if you look at um, primates, right, like chimpanzees, I'm like when they attack each other, they go for two places. They go for the eyes and the genitals. Okay, this is where the two most vulnerable areas that are going to cause shock to your adversary. And I suggest you seriously consider doing this. Okay, and adding this when you can. You're attacking the eyes. You're grabbing the eyes. You're Gripping. When we get the, when we go and we grab the testicles, 
We are coming straight up and turning in. I won't grab it, though, but, you know. Up, grab it. Okay, and then real quickly. Got my little marble bag. Up, grab. Just, mm, mm, mm. It seemed better days. But that's it. Just coming, hitting, wrapping up. So again, attacking straight up in the target, coming up, not at. I can't poke at this. This hits the bladder. This doesn't do anything. Saddle kicking, okay, driving that knee. Yeah, one of the things to do also to set this up is when, again, this is another combination workout, but ear box, eye gouge. Anytime you're grabbing and gouging the eyes, it squares his feet up. And this bang, bang, this allows you to to continue to just work on them, to rattle in that head. Okay, so that is how to really hit somebody in the nuts. Remember, the speed bag, you're either smashing it up or pulling it off. And now, again, I wanna thank you for stopping by. This is Damian Ross from the Self Defense Company. Please leave your comments below, and if you start putting some freaky crap on there, I'm gonna delete you and ban you. So save that for another time and place. Uh, oh, as always, uh, please subscribe, hit the bell, you'll get a notification when we post a new video. Also, there's some free stuff underneath. If you look in the description, you'll get a free report on how to spot a concealed weapon in the street and a bunch of other giveaways. So again, until next time, this is Damien, and as always, train honestly.